Hello and welcome to Pursuit of Perfect Systems video show coverage for the Festival of Sound Music and Audio show. We'd like to thank our show coverage sponsors, Telerium Q Cables, for helping us make this show coverage possible. Hi, I'm Max Townsend and I'm the uh, CEO of Townsend Audio and I'm here to show you the isolation for the loudspeakers. Uh, this is our standard demonstration which has uh, been used for quite a while. And, uh, what we actually have is two identical tablets set up with an app to make them a seismograph to fix some vibration. And you can see here, if you tap that, it's, it's registering X, Y, and Z. Similarly here, that we've got two, uh, uh, they're both the same sensitivity. And the, uh, for these two speakers, one is mounted on the floor with spikes and the other one is on the bars. And you can see here, it's a very soft spring which allows very, very free movement. Now, if we step on the floor, you can see here, this is a, a suspended concrete floor. You can see the vibration going straight to the speaker, and here there's nothing. And we can even go quite a distance away. The vibration still goes through the floor. So what it means is that when you're playing your music, the, the speaker, the, the energy that is into the floor uh, is irritating your neighbours and causing resonance uh, in, your, in the system. And you can see that here. If you tap this, you can see this ringing here. That's the speaker resonating against the concrete floor. If you do it here, there's no ringing because there's no energy storage. And as a result, there's no sound into the floor, or from the floor to the speaker, or from the speaker to speaker, or speaker to turntable. And it sounds much clearer because there's no ringing. Can you just do the tap demo again, please? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, it's there and gone, isn't it? Yeah. Is this just to see the impulse? Yeah. To hear? Yeah. yeah there's yeah. the ringing because the whole yeah. thing's ringing against the floor. But obviously, that's going to be constant, isn't it? The constant, all constant. the way through the music. Yeah. It's blurring the music. Yeah. As soon as you do this, it suddenly becomes clearer. Oh, right. And of course, because it moves, you're going to lose a tiny, tiny little bit, about 0 0.01 dB. That's the, that's the reduction in bass. But you may hear a difference in bass because you've no longer got that resonance, which is a bass resonance, and you're no longer setting the floor off, which re-radiates. Yeah, so it should be tight, tight more control, cleaner, yeah. shouldn't it, really? Yeah, indeed. Which is, yeah. which is pretty obvious when you go back to fat bass, isn't it, really? Yeah, and you hear, you realise, oh my God, I'll yeah. listen to that. But we have quite a range here, as you can see. Um, here we have a, what we call a podium, which is for speakers that are a bit heavier and a bit more awkward. These are the bars which are under here, and these are adjustable. And these are for lighter speakers where you can actually lift it to adjust it, but this is the weight adjustment. But for heavy speakers, you can't do that, so we have this adjustment in the corners. Is that for leveling? That's for leveling. Yeah, okay. leveling. So it makes it easier, it makes leveling easier. Yeah, really, to facilitate leveling. And these big ones are for... Wow, it's not there. Subwoofers uh, in clubs and uh, uh, arena. These will take the enormous clubbing clubs. Wow. And they make a huge difference to the noise of the neighbours, and it sounds clearer. Uh, so that's basically the technology on a massive scale, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, really? just bigging it up. Yeah. And uh, over here we have this that one on the floor there, down there, which is that's for one leg of the Steinway Z piano. Oh wow. And Stephen Huff, one of our greatest pianists, absolutely adores them and he wants me to supply them in every concert hall in the world wherever he's playing. He just says night and day. He just, but, and the pianists love it because it, it's, it gives the piano a far better, lighter touch. And you're no longer pumping energy into the floor. Because when you're playing the piano, you, people can hear it. But isolate it, all the sound comes out of the piano and far more pure. Interesting that you'd never think of that, would you? Or we wouldn't think of it. You'd never believe it. No, you see lots of technology in lots of areas. Yeah, and the things that just happen. So what else have we got here? Well, there's these little fellas yep. for lightweight equipment. You, you can put four of those under a, a CD player okay. or a, um, an amplifier. And then here we've got it, which is very, very good for turntables. Oh, wow. And we've got all different weights. We have. 2, 4, 8, 16, 32 and 64 kilo springs and they're all adjustable so we can have a huge range of weight. 
And then just the last one we've got today, Super Tweeter. Yeah, there's actually a Super Tweeter, yeah. This is uh, a Super Tweeter that goes very, very high, right up to 100 kilohertz. Uh, and it's, okay, frequency response might stop at 8 or 10 kilohertz, but your ability to discern time of arrival between left and right ear uh, is 5 nanoseconds, or microseconds, and men still have that at age 100. <laughs> and that's why these still work, the time you can hear. This is our speaker, this is the Isolda speaker cable, which has remained unchanged for about 18 years, and our DCT300, which is similarly, and they, people still stand, they stand up today. Uh, we've superseded that with our fractal range here, where we've got a special copper treatment that makes the wire virtually transparent. It's a very expensive treatment, but it works. And we have here our speaker cable, which is built in the same technology. And people who've tried the speaker cable just can't believe it. Yeah. Well, thanks very much. Thank you. Okay.